What's up, YouTube? I have come up with the best and simplest solution to getting a guest into your live stream uh, without using any complicated software. You just need an extra computer and Zoom. So I'll show you how to do that. Check it out. First A10 video in a while. What I wanna be going over is how I've been getting a remote guest into the live stream without doing anything particularly complicated. So, what I'm doing here is using the, whoop, doing the ATEM Extreme ISO here. It's kind of the core of this, even though I think you can still do it if you use any, any of the other ATEMs. So, the key to this is well, at least the idea here is I want to be able to get a guest anywhere into the live stream and from my end be able to control their audio and video and then their placement. At the end of the day, I want to be able to show a split screen that has both people on at the same time, people in studio and people remote. And also then I have to deal with all the issues of making sure that the guest can hear us, the guest can see us, and then also that both of the people that are running the live stream on this end can hear both of those things. So let me show you kind of the key to this. So here is my uh, multi-view program right now. So for program, I'm just showing you a shot of the logo over there. Normally the desk would be in front of it. I'll cut some B-roll in to show you what that looks like. Over here, I have big TV. This is what the presenters are going to see. That TV is connected in this wire chaos to HDMI out to on the ATEM Extreme ISO. H uh, HDMI one is my multi view over here. I pick for the presenter screen so they can see what's going on. They are getting just whatever the program is full screen. I'm over here getting the multi-view. So that solves kind of the, the first, how are the, the live stream presenters going to see anything? Next is how are we going to bring in the remote guest? So here's what's gonna happen. So we're gonna bring in a whole computer here. This computer is hooked up via HDMI right here, okay? So HDMI is going into HDMI 4. So you can see I already have a Zoom conference set up, kind of a cheat there. So HDMI is how this computer is being seen by the program feed. And so right now, if I put on the program, what they're gonna see is this window of the Zoom meeting, right? What I wanna do now is make it, I'm gonna have to change a couple things. So what I'm gonna also do is make this uh, full screen over here so we can see it a little easier, okay? So first thing we gotta do here is set zoom in the zoom settings to do dual monitors. Okay, so zoom, video, uh, maybe it's in general. Okay, so right here, make sure to use, use dual monitors right there. What that's gonna do is now on the, the black magic screen it's going to put the first screen and then your other screen for Zoom, it's gonna treat the, the base computer for that, okay? So what I wanna do over here now is select right here. So what you're seeing up here is a, uh, another computer, it's actually my phone, that's logged into the Zoom meeting that I have set up here, okay? So what I wanna do is this is gonna be the facsimile for our guest here this would be the guest head right here. I'm gonna hit those three dots, and I'm gonna hit pen to first screen. Then I'm going to full screen this, okay? And now, last but not least, I need to now get the guest and everything else to be hearing this properly. So what I need to do is get an HDMI. Now this is, this is pretty fancy. Okay, what I'm gonna do is take the USB-C output here, plug this guy into, okay, crisis averted. We found the other wire. So 
what needs to happen is this guest computer, we'll call it, needs to have HDMI going out of it so Blackmagic can see it, so the ATEM can see it. But then, with the two USB outputs, we're gonna go throw this guy right in USB output, and then we're gonna plug this guy back. Sorry, that's a little more good camera angles. And so now what I just did was I took USB output from the switcher, plugged that back into the guest computer. Now, why did I do that? So what I did that is so I can now go to my zoom options and for camera feed, I have now selected, select a camera, black magic design. So now what that means now is that the guest is going to see the ATEM camera feed. Okay, so now the guest is able to see the presenters. Okay, now for sound, this is neat. For sound, I'm going to pick as a microphone, Blackmagic Design again, so now the guest can hear what the presenters are saying here, or the, the guest is gonna hear whatever the ATEM puts out. Now for speaker, this was the, the complicated thing that I had to figure out. So speaker, I'm gonna do this thing called multi-output device. All right, so check this out, in Apple computers at least, because what I need to do here is somehow find a way to get the, to get the ATEM to hear what the Zoom is saying and also to get the people on site here to be able to hear what the guest is saying. So the only way to do that, and this is actually really neat, is you go into this thing here, where's my mouse at, okay right here called Audio MIDI Setup. And what I'm gonna do actually is hit the plus sign, create a multi-output device, okay? And when I go to this multi-output device thing, I'm gonna select HDMI as one of the outputs, and then I'm going to select a pair of AirPods that are connected to this computer as one of the outputs. Once you go about doing that, then, whenever you look for audio options anywhere, so we'll pull you back into this screen again, I can now pull my microphone here on Zoom, select a speaker, multi-output device shows up, okay? So now the cool thing with that is, what that means is that Zoom's speaker is now, the feed goes into the ATEM switcher and the sound also then goes into the earpieces that the, the uh, hosts of the show have here. And also because it's going into the earpieces, there's no now spill into the room microphones, okay? So now look at this. So I have that set up now. So the guest gets to see, the guest will actually see, uh, this is a little confusing, but let's change this to this, okay. So the guest is gonna see the program feed, right? So let me switch this over to that, okay? So the guest is going to see that Active Life logo or what would be kind of them sitting at the desk. We get to see this. Imagine this lovely shot of a street is our guest, okay? But also notice because my mouse, as silly as this sounds, is because my mouse is not on the screen anymore all of those Zoom layout stuff has now completely vanished, okay? So now, if I make a cool super source, or you could do picture in picture, and I'll cut that over here, and I'll even make it full screen. So now, we have HQ over here, we have the Zoom guest over here, right? And I can also now switch whenever I want. So camera one is going to be my full screen of my uh, hosts here. Camera four, I think it is, is going to be now a full screen of my guests. I make sure I turn on the sound for the guests, turn on the sound for the hosts. I'll leave those on. I can cut back and forth between them. Then I can also go super source and have them both on and talking. Here is, uh, I don't know, I kind of think that's the magic there because the big solution here is there's many other ways to do this, but all of them require a lot of work with OBS and things like that. I think specifically because of the ATEM Mini Extreme ISO, 
having two USB outs and two HDMI outs, you're able to kind of do this weird thing where I'm piping the ATEM feed back into the computer that the guest is actually then seeing. And because of these quirks with Zoom, without actually having to record the desktop or anything like that, I'm able to get a clean guest feed in that's also then very easy for anyone in the world to do because basically everyone has Zoom now. Um, so let's look at some other stuff. Oh, one other thing is check this out. So the whole time that the show is going, the hosts are able to watch the guest because they're gonna see whatever the program is. So they'll always definitely see the guest on the left, or if they, we then go full screen, they're gonna see a whole lot of guests, right? That's pretty cool, and saved us a lot of trouble, and we don't have to buy a lot of extra stuff. Very exciting because now I can bring in a guest anywhere. The biggest challenge is we're just making sure everyone could hear everyone, everyone could see everyone. So the multi-output device little trick in Apple was absolutely crucial because before there was no way for the, the live hosts to hear the guest without it, without it spilling into the room. Because if I put it on the TV speakers, if I just turned up the volume on the TV, the guest's voice will just spill into the room, and that's no good. If I just put the computer over there, which I tried to do on the first one, that also didn't work right. But so by taking the feed out of the ATEM, putting it back into the computer, and then taking the HDMI out of that computer, putting it into the ATEM, you get this weird circle where everything just works. I've done it a few times now. I'll cut in some B-roll of that. It works. Nick, how good did that stream work the other day? Good. 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 He said so good, right? <laughs> flawless. We had flawless execution. Um, besides the people on it, the person on Besides the hosts. The hosts were bad. Besides the hosts. Yeah. Terrible. So. To summarize, by far the easiest way that definitely didn't require me explaining this for 16 minutes, to get a remote guest into a live stream without an absurd amount of extra hassle is you're going to need a computer dedicated to the Zoom conference. You're going to need an A10 Mini. I don't know. You, you really might need a, uh, the Extreme because that has the extra HDMI output and the extra... USB output that I think are actually kind of crucial to this. Um, and you're also going to need a pair of AirPods, right? Because you're going to need to have some way of the guest's audio to not be spilling into the room sound, because that would be a big problem. So, and then the other secrets to this process is set up your second computer, have that plugged into one of the HDMI inputs on the ATEM, set up a multi-output audio setup, so that you have it going to the HDMI and to the AirPods at the same time. And then um, just make sure on the, the second screen for your guest where that the, that the black magic is looking at, that you have that pinned to the first screen. And by doing that, it gives you a full screen view of the guest that you can then capture, put right into the A10, put right into the feed. How easy is that? Right? That sounds really easy, and it only requires about 140 different wires. Um, yeah, that's all I got. Check it out. See if it works. <laughs>